Sony has entered the electric vehicle race, and as one would expect, their first entry into the market is quite a unique one. With systems running on Unreal Engine and showcased while driven with a PlayStation controller, this is no ordinary car. But why did the Japanese electronics giant even make such an odd move? And is it actually working out for them? Right from the get-go, Sony knew that they couldn't just make another basic EV, but it still had to be functional. They partnered with auto giant Honda Motor Company to form Sony Honda Mobility, their joint electric vehicle venture, and together they developed the Afila. This partnership, of course, allows them to include expertise from both of the two key industries that EV companies operate within, automobiles and electronics. With Sony, the company also has a leg up on their competition within entertainment, which is something that they are putting a lot of their focus on. This includes advanced audio-visual technologies, gaming, and of course, integration with Sony's pre-existing entertainment platforms. To demonstrate this, Sony Honda Mobility President Izumi Kawanishi used a wireless PlayStation 5 DualSense controller to drive the car at their latest public showing at CES 2024. In another partnership that may have been unexpected to some, Sony Honda Mobility are collaborating with video game giant Epic Games to develop immersive displays that can accurately replicate real-life conditions. In addition, they're working with Microsoft to develop a conversational personal agent based on Azure OpenAI software. These massive cooperative efforts are for sure needed since getting your foot in the current EV market is a massive undertaking. The interior of a high-tech entertainment-based car also has to impress, of course. The cabin of the Afila includes an extensive central console with two wireless charging docks and an expansive dashboard screen that, as previously mentioned, runs on Unreal Engine 5. The steering wheel only contains a lower half, forming a slightly squared semicircle. This design choice, together with a lot of the car's interior design, is made to obstruct as little of the view as possible in front of the massive entertainment panel. It truly is a theme that can be seen all throughout the vehicle's build, where the vision is always to prioritize its clear, unique selling point. The car also has a bunch of other unique features, like automatically opening doors and immersive surround sound audio systems. All of these integrated tech functions serve the purpose of creating a one-of-a-kind experience from start to finish. The Afila will also feature in Polyphony Digital's hit game, Gran Turismo 7. This is one of many marketing moves that Sony has prepared to make sure that everyone is talking about their very first car debut. But how does the Afila itself perform compared to a standard EV unit? Well, its front and rear dual motor setup produces an output of about 482 horsepower, which is slightly above something like a standard Tesla Model 3. Apart from the personal agent, the car also incorporates artificial intelligence in its driver assistance systems, using the deep learning algorithm Vision Transformer for image recognition in its path planning technology. It also includes a backup system for safety, supported by Qualcomm's system-on-chip processors. The company has stated that the Afila will achieve level 3 autonomy, which would make its self-driving the most advanced in the world among current generation regular personal electric vehicles. This, of course, is meant to increase the usefulness of the built-in entertainment systems, since the driver won't need to be as focused on the road while driving. The car has a 91 kilowatt hour lithium ion battery capable of charging speeds of up to 150 kilowatts. Sony Honda has yet to disclose the vehicle's full range, but it is expected to be comparable to other industry standard EVs. Customer examples of the Afila are expected to arrive by 2026. Together with the upcoming Apple car release, 2026 is sure to be a crazy year for electric cars and the EV industry as a whole. During their CES showcase, company CEO Yasuhida Mizuno said that we want to think outside the box to revisit the underlying philosophy of vehicle design. This is an interesting mindset that really could set Sony Honda Mobility apart from the rest of the competition. All in all, the Afila seems like a decently capable electric car that sells itself heavily on its advanced technological capabilities and unique features above everything else. But what do you think? Is Sony entering the EV race as a serious contender, or are its tech capabilities just a party trick? Will the hype die down over time, or is this just the beginning of a strong Sony-Honda partnership ready to take on the global EV market? Let us know in the comments down below. For more information about entertainment, electric vehicles, and everything else tech, make sure to subscribe to the Tech Oasis channel. 
and take a look at this video next to see Apple's plans to tackle the future of EVs as well with their highly anticipated first Apple car.